I think it's a foregone conclusion for most Ravens fans that Bradley Bozeman will not be back in Baltimore. Ooh, that's a lot of bees right there. Um, and the reason I say that is not because we don't want Bradley Bozeman back, because we certainly do, because we certainly want as much continuity along the offensive line as we possibly can get, especially when it comes to that center to quarterback exchange, because as we know from experience, it can get really ugly really fast. Uh, but the reason that most Ravens fans don't expect him to be back is simply because he's getting ready to become one of the top paid, if not the top paid centers in the league. Uh, he's getting ready to hit free agency and he's coming off of a year where he did really well at center. And of course, that's his original position uh, that he played in college. And of course, well, Ravens, they switched him around because they had a center, but they wanted to get him on the field. So they had him at guard and he did well there, too. So he's shown that he is flexible. He can do more than one thing. Uh, and, you know, a lot of teams, they love that, especially along the offensive line. Uh, but the biggest reason that we feel like Ravens won't be bringing him back it's because of his bread. It's because of the money. It's because he's going to get paid. Uh, but we just don't expect the Ravens to be the ones that are writing the check. I'm sure they will love to have him back, but you know they will love to have everybody back. And this is a business. And can't be mad at Bradley Bozeman for leaving. Can't be mad and will not be mad for Bradley Bozeman not taking a hometown discount like a lot of fans love to throw out there. No, Bradley Bozeman. Go get your bread. Go get your money. But I'm sure if, if anything from this report comes to fruition, <laughs> then him getting his money is going to be very painful for a lot of Ravens fans to see him twice, potentially three times a year uh, if he does end up going to Cincinnati. Aaron Wilson, who used to work for the Baltimore Sun, he reported this yesterday. He said, Baltimore Ravens veteran center Bradley Bozeman, one of the top free agent offensive linemen. So you see how he threw that out there to kind of let you know, like, hey, give you a nice little reminder, like, hey, this dude getting ready to get paid. But anyway, back to it. He said um, he is expected to draw interest from multiple NFL teams should he hit the market. And that's a given. We, we figure that. That's expected. Of course, he's going to draw interest from quite a few teams because everybody's always looking for a lineman. But then uh, the kicker, he said, including the Cincinnati Bengals per league sources. Now, uh, when it comes to these pre-free agency reports and rumors uh, where teams are expected to be interested in particular free agents, um, before I used to not really take them seriously because I'd be like, OK, well, teams could be interested in anybody who they want to. But in order for that interest to be something real, something significant, they have to try to make something happen. They have to shoot their shot. They have to try to strike a deal. But then in 2019, that's when everything changed for me, because uh, there was a report. There were multiple reports that kept saying, oh, the Ravens, they expected to be interested in Mark Ingram. And I was like, why? Why, why would they be interested in Mark Ingram? They have running backs already. They already straight in and running. Why would they be interested in Mark Ingram for what? They got Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards can do everything that Mark Ingram can. They're not, they ain't going to sign Mark. Mm, no, I don't believe that. And then it happened. So I would not take this report lightly. Another reason, because Cincinnati Bengals, we know that they are going to be looking for some help. Uh, on their offensive line. Uh, you have to do everything that you possibly can to protect your quarterback who has had uh, some significant injuries, some significant leg injuries due to a lack of blocking. Uh, and that's, you can't have him getting hurt again. Uh, you just came off of reaching the Super Bowl in his first four years starting, in his second year in the league. And they came up short. Uh, because they, they were, there was a couple players that they left out there. They did make a lot of them, and of course, throughout the year, and in spite of being the most sacked team, in spite of their offensive line being shaky. So with the Bengals, I would really, I wouldn't take this lightly because you saw what they did with a bad offensive line. They have the money to fix that like that. They, they got the money for it. They got the salary cap for it. So why wouldn't you think that they would do everything in their power to make that offensive line right? Especially when it was wrong, but they still made the Super Bowl. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, seeing Bradley Bozeman with the Bengals versus Baltimore, that would be something. 
And I know a lot of fans would be like, ew, yuck. And some fans would probably even start hating Bradley Bozeman, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Because, again, let me remind you, the NFL is a business. We've seen it plenty of times before. I know Bengals fans, when T.J. Hushman Zada, when he suited up in the Ravens jersey, Bengals fans were probably like, oh. Some of them actually probably threw up. And then, oh, on that fourth down in that game against the Steelers, uh, in that divisional round playoff game, I'm sure they were all celebrating when Joe Flacco hit T.J. Hushman Zada in the chest. And he dropped it. And that ended the game. So it is what it is, though. That's the past. Um, but we'll see if this does end up happening. I could really see it happening because, uh, you know, they're going to want to protect Joe Burrow. They got the means for it. They're getting ready to cut Trey Waynes, I believe. Uh, that'll give them even more salary cap space. So Bengals, gonna, they, they can make a lot of significant moves. And, of course, I expect them to re-sign their own. Jesse Bates, I know every single Bengals fan is waiting on that move to be made every single day. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. They got the money for it. It's just a matter of making it happen, though. But anyway, let's see if Bradley Bozeman goes from Baltimore to the Bengals. I hope not, but if it happens, it is what it is. Like Bradley Bozeman is probably going to be when it comes to being with the Ravens. I'm out. We love you, Bose.